Hello, I'm Rick Roby. Okay, I'm Brian Shea. Uh, we're here with Rick. We wanted to talk to you. You're a very successful man, and uh, I was curious why Force Earth was a, a great opportunity for you to get involved with. Well, uh, they approached me about three and a half months ago, and Kenny Hodge, who's the guy that's leading the pack here that uh, knows how to build the systems and make it happen, came to me. My first reaction was, I'm really not interested because I've never done a multi-level thing before. I've been approached by hundreds of them, and uh, it really probably didn't fit what I was looking for. But he came over, showed me the product, showed me who was involved, put me on the phone with the owner, with Al Unser Jr. And after I did some of my own due diligence for a few days of just checking on the company and finding out a little more about it, uh, I felt like it was a perfect fit for me. And, you know, I know Kenny knows his systems, but uh, the product itself meant a whole lot to me. And when Al Unser Jr. sat in his RV up at uh, the 500 and told me, this product works, that's all I needed to know. And being a green product helps on emissions. You know, it helps on gas mileage. Uh, it's, we're not going to lose. There's no way you can lose at it. Well, why don't you talk about the first time you put it in your car? Were you apprehensive about putting it into your car? Or? Well, I'm, yeah. I wasn't ap apprehensive yeah, because I just out. met with Al, well, and yeah. Al said, hey, <laughs> yeah. you can put it in any combustible uh, right. uh, engine, you know, from your weed eater to your lawnmower to your boat to diesel fuel to gas fuel. Uh, he says you can never over lubricate a combustion engine. So I wasn't worried Did I put three ounces or five ounces or seven ounces. It really doesn't matter. When I first treated my car, you know, uh, I tried to maybe go more to the five ounces, the first per 10 gallons, and uh, did it for the first two tanks. And then now I try to put about an ounce. I put three ounces in because my tanks are a 30 gallon tank. Gas mileage wise, I, I hate to admit this, I haven't really checked it over the last couple of months. The first time I put it in my car, I drove to Gainesville, Florida without it checked my mileage and I got around right at 17 miles per gallon. Then I was down there for my son's spring ball and uh, put this uh, force in the engine, in the gas, ran a couple tanks while I was down there, then drove home and I ended up getting right about 19.2 coming home. So, I mean, that shows you there's, and mine's a newer car. Mm -hmm. I really, from talking to Al and them, they say the older the vehicle, probably the better, uh, better, I guess results you'll get. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen how this might affect people's lives, give them an opportunity they may not otherwise have in a tough economy? There's no question yeah. about it. Uh, I, it, it's the reason why I looked at it. I'm, you know, I'm got a great real estate business going here with the economy the way it is. We've all our business have uh, slacked off. You know, we're down about 35 percent the last two years, and. Uh, you know, I have to go out every day and list a house or sell a house to make money. And uh, with this, if I put a real effort into it for the next uh, 12 months, 18 months, and really work on building my downlines and uh, getting people in, I'll have a residual income. And I've never in my life ever had residual income. Yeah. You know, I've always played pro ball or I've owned a business where you, if you don't sell, you don't make or have been a realtor. So yeah, you have to uh, start all over again and earn it again, right? So yeah. now I, if I can get this system, and I really believe it's going to happen, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a year, two years from now, I'm going to be sitting here going, boy, I'm glad Kenny Hodge lived in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm glad I was his friend. Mm -hmm. Well, can you talk about the opportunity right now? Because a lot of people, when they worry about these multi-level marketing campaigns, getting up near the top is an important element. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I think it's, it, it definitely will make it easier for someone, yeah. but it doesn't assure you a home run. I mean, you have to get into this and look at it as a business. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't want you to quit your regular job to do this, but I think every day you've got to set aside some time mm -hmm to put towards this business if you want to be real successful. Now, if you just want to make a little bit of money and supplement, you know, going out a few times a month more, I think you could get in, put a few people in and get lucky. But if you're really looking at this to, uh, to be in a big way, I think you've got to set aside time every day and uh, put an effort to it. And if you do, you're going to see great results.